girls i want the best for black women i really do but it's really hard because women in our community are attracted to a certain type of man because that is what they deem as masculine or hyper masculine basically if you're not riding around with a glock on your hip I am going to speak for me. No, 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 you will not change the question now. We don't understand it. No, 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 you want to answer for these young women right now tonight. You, okay. you the spokesperson for the women. All right, look, look, look. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep, keep, keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna be completely honest. When I was yes, younger, please. yes. A young woman says the reason why black black women keep receiving the bare minimum is because they're attracted to hood dudes. Mm. Yeah, you know I'm saying the Quan Quans. Yeah, it. the uh, Pookies and Ray Ray. <laughs> And I mean, they want to say the the hood culture, the the pop culture, the pookie, pookies and Ray Ray. Yeah, Shout out to Pookie and Ray Ray. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Pookie and Ray Ray. Let's let Peanut kick this thing off as usual. It's this drum podcast. Aww. Let's go. There is nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Let me say it again. There is absolutely nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Girls, I want the best for black women. I really do, but it's really hard because women in our community are attracted to a certain type of man because that is what they deem as masculine or hyper masculine basically if you're not riding around with a glock on your hip <laughs> if you're not walking around with your pants sagging to your ankles if you don't have several baby mamas and you're a lame it's very disappointing because i feel like i'm seeing more pregnancy announcements no weddings at least here in America. The reason that's why a lot of black women in America are accepting the bare minimum and accepting poor treatment is because they are attracted to a certain kind of man. And honestly, let me be real with you girls. At one point in my life, I'm really embarrassed to say this, I used to be attracted to Glocktaviuses, hood tyrants, dust mites, whatever. I, I used to be attracted to them. I used to, seriously. Mind you, I have never lived in the hood in my entire life. My parents are immigrants that came here and put me and my siblings in amazing neighborhoods. I live in the suburbs, and yet I was still attracted to hood tyrants. So it's not even a certain kind of girl that's attracted to them. It really could be anyone. And honestly, the reason as to why I was attracted to those type of men is because I was consuming a lot of hood Hollywood content. I was following a lot of IG baddies. I was following a lot of rapper baby mamas. I was consuming that content. And because those women were attracted to those kind of men, I thought that that was like the it thing had a thing for them for maybe about a year or two and then it was over with and it's just because i realized that they're not going to cause any good in your life if you want to be married if you want to be a wife if you want to be taken care of yeah like those types of men are not going to do it for you now she's starting to realize her worth that's all yeah, that is at the, at the end yeah, yeah. So, so you know how no diddy has replaced paul's Glocktavius is definitely replacing right. Glock so that's, that's what Ray we have to do. That's what we they have to say for that one. Glocktavius. Everybody Glocktavius. The hood tyrants. They are hood tyrants. Everybody Glocktavius from here on out. Uh, listen, that's a stoli. Uh, <laughs> I'm stealing it. <laughs> Glocktavius is in the house. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So wait, so T, let me ask you Why do the pop culture continues to continuously choose men like you know, I mean the Brock Taviuses, please. Okay, so let's let's just say this: I cannot speak for the pop culture. I am or, going to on. speak for me. No, 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 no. You will not change the question. We don't understand it. No, 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 no. You want to answer for these young women right now? You, okay. you the spokesperson for the women. All right, look, look, look. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Keep it, I'm gonna keep, 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 keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna be completely honest. When I was yes, younger, please. yes. 
those as she calls glocktavius's they were fun they were exciting because it's like like especially if it's you don't have like an exciting lifestyle you dealing with somebody that's like a hood dude it's like oh okay yeah you you something different from my norm but they're dangerous as hell so yeah. yes you know right here in the comments you got my niece saying i raised my kids to be bougie yes the hell i did because once i realized once i got in the middle of somebody's crossfires in somebody's house in west philly i said never again we're not just going to speed past this like that comment just did not um you know that could be a viral comment comment so um crossfire would you like to uh, elaborate, elaborate on yeah. man what? i was at this boy house in west philly and you it know, was a bull, okay. Yeah, a bull. I was like still in high school, mm -hmm. and he was a hood dude that so, would hustle. And I goes to visit. You know, I was going to go visit to go do my thing. Okay, <laughs> that go, thing. Yeah, to go get that, know that thing. To go so, get that thing. <laughs> so Glocktavius was going to bust it. <laughs> no, wide open. He was going to take care of that thing. But okay, next die, thing I boy. know, <laughs> next thing I know. He like get down, and I hear all this what? banging. Man, I had no idea where the hell I was because I was not familiar with West Philly. I had to like literally find my way to hell home, so, and I had to run out the back door because I wasn't trying to get shot. So, so here's a question, and we're not using you you as the <laughs> the, D as the example. The DB good. It okay. Do. okay, thank you, Dro. Thank you for <laughs> thank being you, honest. Yeah, man, thank you for that's being what honest. It is. <laughs> so here's here's the question. Let's take the children out of it because 17, 18, 19, you don't really know nothing. And you're proud of your product of your environment most mm -hmm. of the time. As 25, 28, 32, the, the young but not young, not you, mm -hmm. give me your reason why you think those age women still choose Glocktavius. I think they probably still choose it because I think they just want is a, is a way to fit in. Society, that's part of the norm. Everything that you look at on TV, you got the guys that's like hustling or yeah. they, has this, they have this whole persona that the guys that's hustling got the money or, you know, those are the guys that can take care of you. And at the end of the day, they really not because once they go to jail, get locked up or, or dead, you know, who's where, where are they now? So there's yeah. no one left. Yeah. So now... Now let me let me so CJ. Let me ask you: Do you think it's the the dopamine hit or that rush that keeps these young women in these toxic relationships? I, I believe it. If you think about our culture, our culture thrives on negativity, and so mm. I think that when you have been introduced and indoctrinated with negativity all the time, the 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 rush of think about like something like skipping school. There's no yeah. real reason to do that. You do, it you, for the do rush. you do it for the rush. Yeah. And so it's like these women are attracted to these guys because it's it's what's considered exciting. Like they they the uh, I seen a guy make a shirt that says "Make smart cool again," and it's like it's cool to be a dummy. It's cool to be a <laughs> what they call a stepper or a driller or you know out in the streets. The the the, the young kids use the term crashing out. Like that's cool now.